A Sanford woman is recovering from a rare infection that many people do not survive. Two months ago, doctors raced to save Tammy Russ's life when she ended up in intensive care with flesh-eating bacteria. Tonight, her husband wants to tell those doctors thank you. Kevin Russ says his wife Tammy went from feeling fine to near death in less than a day. Everything was fine. That was at 5 in the morning. She was chopping up peppers and onions for dinner that night. By afternoon, she'd called to say she had some type of infection in her thumb, where Russ says she'd removed a callus. Thirteen and a half hours later, it had blown up. It was all black and purple and just horrible looking. I said, you're going to the emergency room. And she was really on death's doorstep then. I couldn't even hold her up. An ambulance rushed her to Central Carolina Hospital in Sanford. Luckily, when we got to the ER, the doctor on duty knew immediately what the problem was. She said it was necrotizing fasciitis. She said, in simple terms, flesh-eating bacteria. A rare and often deadly infection. It moves an inch an hour, so time was just not on our side. Even transferring her to a bigger hospital was too risky. Do not attempt to transport her. She won't survive the trip. You have to deal with it there or she will die. And that's some pretty rough information to get. But Ross was thankful the doctor treating his wife knew all about the rare infection. Luckily, Dr. Joy Hallmark knew exactly what had to be done. She said when she was in medical school, she'd done a lot of research on it. After days in a medically induced coma and several surgeries, Tammy was stable enough to be flown to Duke. She's home now, and although she's lost a thumb, Russ says she's healing well, and the whole family is grateful for the doctors who saved her life. She got the best possible care she could have. And Russ says his wife is quickly learning how to adjust to life without her thumb. They are extremely thankful she made it through this and is recovering.